Is it time to lead or is it time to die? Time to raise hell or walk on by. Is there anybody out there that's paying attention? Yeah, yeah. Is it time to speak up or time for silence? Time for peace or is it time for violence? Is there anybody out there? All right, all right, all right. Wow, what a tasty jam to start it off there. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and I hope you enjoy this picture that's up here. It's Lauren staring right at you. Ooh, you know, this, this is not a face you want to see. It's not a face anybody wants to see, but least of all, you know, any of us. Um, all right, I, I got a couple of calls lined up here. You know, we got treated to the to the first one. I, I couldn't hit the pause button quick enough. Oh my gosh. Um, let's let's say hi to everybody and then get into the calls because there are a couple. I, 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 I'm pretty sure I've heard them before, but I, I kind of just like stroll through like Raptor Bacon's uh, backlog and like the most popular videos and, and fast forward to like halfway through and pick something that sounds funny to me. That's my that's my process of choosing these. So these, these were funny in the middle. So uh, it should be pretty good. Um, hey, Allison Marie Armstrong, uh, slash, good to see ya, a Asbury Brad, Asbury Brad, of course, uh, Pussy Destroyer, Pussy Destroyer, Cyberdink, Outdoor Loser, I'm your new best friend, uh, it's, oof, man, what a good best friend, uh, you are the envy of everyone right now, DJ McNerdette, uh, oh, baby, we just got three dollars, one of those weirdos, Kit Cat Meow, Sadface09, 
Uh, Megan Gorski. I don't think I've ever uh, seen you before, Megan, but good to have you here. Um, uh, Willow Angel? That's, uh, that made me test my eyes there for a second. Yeah, one of those weirdos. This track is fire. Um, no, I'm not going to be on Cam Slash. You know what? Actually, I was, like, just looking into Legos recently. Because, um, like, I want to, I want to, I want to, you know, spend some money on some Legos again. And maybe build one on Cam. Um, and a bunch of, like, new sets um, uh, were just kind of, like, premiered and stuff. And I was really disappointed with them. It was, uh, it was very upsetting. Uh, Paranormal Purebred, of course. Good to see Paranormal Purebred. Octopushy. And, uh, and macro. Good to see you, macro. All right, let's get into the call here. Bye bye. Winnie, it's a simple question. Do you love me? No. Winnie, it's a simple question. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Why'd you hang up? Hello. Because I asked you if you loved me and you said no. Okay, so we're done now, right? No, you don't love me, so we are. Okay, as long as you know you broke up with me. You broke up with me, I, uh... No, you broke up with me and you told me you don't love me. I'm not playing the game. You want to play a game, you can pick somebody else to play it with. Hey, Nugs and Smoothie the Cat, good to see you guys. You broke up with you me. You love me? Blueberry you broke boy. up with me tonight, you just... If you, if you love me, you better tell me. If you love me, you're gonna put up with anything that I say and do. Let's, let's, ooh, let's speed this up. Do you love me? You broke up with me tonight. Stop playing, stop, stop playing your stupid fucking game. Yeah. Stop asking yeah, me if I love you and then cussing at me in the same fucking breath, you fucking asshole moron. You think I love that? When I, when I ask you, when I ask you if you love me, if you I, really do love me, then you better you say yes, not me. no. You better say yes. So what? Do you love me? Fuck no, you fucking what? ugly pig. What? Hi. I'm not gonna fucking play your goddamn game. Yeah. If you fucking love me, you better fucking say yes, not fucking no, and you better not call me an ugly fucking pig, or a fucking pedophile, or any of your stupid fucking words that you're using, because they are not helping you or, or us. You and I'm tired of that fucking bullshit. They're helping you. If you love me, you better fucking tell me that you love me. If you hang up on me, we're broken up, do you understand? <laughs> if you play that fucking game with me again, okay, it's I not gonna be a good call. outcome. I need you to understand. Are we broken? I need up? you to understand. I don't want you playing. I need you to understand. I don't want you playing the fucking game with me. Oh, Smokey, you got uh, Botox. Nuggies knows all about Botox. Nuggies, tell her. Are we broken up? Okay. I have had enough fucking games. I've had enough fucking games. You played one when we first met. Now you wow. think you're gonna play one now? I'm stopping it. Are we so done? You better make up your mind if you love me or not. Are we through? Depends on what you say. Are we through, Lauren? Are we done? Are we through? Yeah. Depends on, depends on what you say. Are we done? Depends on what you say. What do you mean? I love you. I know. I love you. Do you? Do you love me? Hey, generic Puerto Rican male. Yes, you are right on your way to the beach. Why don't you have a seat? Have have a cookie on your way. Just you know, take a load off for a Fuck second. Fuck no! I hate you, you drunk, ugly bitch. Okay. Bye. I'm just verifying that we're broken up now, eh? Well, you're trying off hard to fucking break up with me, so you must have somebody on the side. Oh, there I don't it have is. anybody on the side. I'm just letting you know that I understand that you want to break. You must have somebody else on the side. Up with me, and that's fine. I don't deserve to be treated. Uh, you're the one. Uh, you, you're the one who wants to break up with me. No, you broke up with you me. You can't tell me you. Uh, you can't tell me you love me. I don't love you because you're cussing at me and treating me bad. Oh bullshit. How about that? You're the one that's done everything. You even, you even told, me, told me that my mother. I said just now. You even said you even said the same thing that Wendy said the other night. <gasps> fuck your mother. That's what you said in your voicemail. Ah, uh, fuck your mother. I meant it too. 
You don't care about your mother, or else you would have taken care of your brother a long time ago. You said you meant it. Hey, Paige Master. I don't know what you want. Well, what do you want? I wanted you to love me, but you don't. I know. I... Paige Master, I want, I've loved you for a long time. Bye. Are you going to cry now? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. <laughs> you just want me to tell you I love you because you're being mean to me and you want to know I forgive you. Well, you can't do it like that because you're being mean. Forgive me for what? Forgive me for what? Ah, oh, the tears. Ah, oh, so early. We're only four minutes and 43 seconds of this about 40 minute call. Now already we got the tears, you know? He's, ew, he's pulling out the tricks early tonight. Oh my gosh. Can you tell I'm a little like high strung already? I went out to dinner tonight and I, I had a couple of drinks. I'm already, I'm already, I'm already riding the wave. Fuck you, you're not doing that to me. Fuck you. Fuck you, you're not doing that to me. Fuck you. Let's get For that one. That's good. Fuck you, you're not doing that to me. Fuck you. Oh, oh yeah, poor little you're being mean to me, not me. <laughs> I knew it. Why are you breaking up with me? I'm not the one breaking up with you. You're breaking up with me. You keep hanging up on me that and saying goodbye and you hate me. Mm -hmm. I asked you a simple fucking question. You tell me no. And you say you fuck my mother, and you say you mean it. I'm not gonna be with somebody who that fucking does that shit. I don't mean it, but you just don't okay. listen to me. All you want to do is talk over me. That's the only way I can get. Lauren, are you crying? You just don't tell me that. Don't tell me that you fucking mean it. Don't tell me that you. Don't tell me you fucking mean it. Right. Oh, that, that transition from from crying to anger. Oh, that was weird. Over me. That's the only way I can get you to shut up. Don't tell me that. Smokey, I'm not gonna tell you how I saw them naked. With my eyes. That should be good enough for you. Don't tell me that you fucking mean it. Oh. All you wanna do is talk over me. That's the only way I can get you to shut up. Don't tell me that don't tell me that you fucking mean it. Don't tell me that you fucking mean it. That's my fucking mother you're talking about. You say you love her to me before, then you tell me fuck my mother. You yeah, fucking fuck kidding mother, me. Lauren. I'm not Tony and Wendy. I give a fuck about my mother. I do tell. And I it's not a fucking game to me. You and you're gonna stop up? playing a fucking game with me. Do you wanna break up? I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna stick around for a goddamn game. If you wanna keep playing a game, you can play it with somebody else. I'm not sticking around for a game, so if you want me, you better stop fucking taking me seriously. Outdoor loser, did I say hi to you? Hi outdoor loser. Seriously. I'm not kidding about any fucking part of it. That includes your fucking precious Dan. Precious. You want to keep your bullshit up with fucking Dan? You can go fucking get him because I'm done with that. Bunny. You're done with me. I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm sick of I'm sick of hearing you fucking talk about Dan. It did makes me want to fucking tonight? puke. Did you cheat on me tonight with Elton? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking I need to know. You're so I'm quite positive. You. You I'm quite positive. You know the fucking answer there. It's yes, wasn't it? I didn't talk about Dan at all tonight. You, you just did. You just brought him up right now. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? Guess who put Dan in guess my what? fucking head? You did. Only one fucking person did, you and did. that's you. You. But it doesn't fucking matter because I'm telling you all the street. If you want me, you're going to have me. And I don't want to fucking hear shit about Dan. Because I'm not dealing with that bullshit. I deserve more than that. I deserve a lot better than that. Okay, then go find another woman. No, I'm so sorry that Dan is so important to you that you no, can't fucking love me. No, you think that you're better than I am, so go find somebody as good as you, Lauren. What? So you broke what? up with me. I just need to make sure that way I take your number off my phone and cancel my ticket. I didn't break up with you. You don't want to fucking break up with me because you can't fucking be faithful to me. I'm not cheating. You can't be honest with me. You can't yeah. fucking be loyal to me. I am loyal and I love you. you. Yeah. Lauren, did you crocodile rock with Alton tonight? You know, because you're mean to me. And you wonder why I hung up. You wonder why I hung up. And Dan's so important to you that you can't stop your bullshit to make me feel secure with you. I'm not saying anything about Dan. You've only talked about Dan tonight, not me. You do it constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do it constantly, and you know you do it. Constantly. Are you breaking up with me? 
No, I'm not. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to break up on me because Dan's so important to you. Oh, here we go. You keep mentioning Dan. It sounds like he's important. Hey, Dan Jones and Pee Wee's Burnt Pizza. And to somebody, oh. it's me. You're the one. You're the one that keeps mentioning. You're the one that can't well, go a fucking phone call with me you without calling Dan. Tonight, I haven't said anything. I just wanted to tell him hi. You I don't, are the one that can't go. Uh, I just you are the one that cannot go a phone call with me without calling Dan. So that's the only time I can talk to him. You said because you got to monitor all my calls like a fucking like I'm a child. You mean like like you have to with me with Emma? Yeah, because you're a sex fiend and she wants to bone you. And you don't trust me. You don't trust me when I tell you. Me and them are just friends. Are you kidding me? So, I don't have... No one should trust Lauren with anything ever for any reason. I'm an interest in Emma. It's completely different with you. Because you you constantly talk about sucking on Dan's cock. You were going to tell you. Mexican earlier. Who are you talking about? You keep cheesing me and you what? think that... Oh, Slash, is he playing well this year? Uh, Andrew McCutcheon? I remember in the Sox series, the last series of the White Sox that I watched... Um, he, he was doing really well. I hope he dies. That's a, that's, you know, it's a feel good story back in Pittsburgh. You keep teasing me and you told Elton if he wants to tag team a Mexican and you're telling me about teasing you. I didn't even say anything. What I said was just being a smart ass because you said some smart ass remark to me. Oh yeah. So you can say smart ass stuff, but I can't, right? Is that how this relationship goes? But do you realize that you're the only one that always does it? No, you just proved that you did because you fucking said you, I was being a smart ass because you were. That's your response every time. Stop acting okay. blameless. I say, it, I say it one time. One time I say it. You always say it. I say it. No, you're, no, you're going to hear this. You're going to hear this. <laughs> you're going to hear this. Let's get that again. Oh, Winnie. When, when Winnie's on, she's on. You know what I mean? Say it. You Com always say it. You say it. I say it. No, you're, no, you're going to hear this. You're you going to hear this. You always you're gonna say it. I say it one time. Compare. Let's get that again. You're you gonna hear this. You always say it. I say it one time. <laughs> Did you hear that little? You're gonna hear this. You you're gonna hear this. You always say it. I say it one time. Compared to your, compared to your two thousand times of saying it. Times. So you don't want to hear me say it because you don't want to hear yourself. You always say it. I said it. I because you were saying oh, this. Oh, bullshit. I did it because you did this. Oh, I did it because you did this. I did it because you did this. I am so fucking sick of hearing about fucking Leon. Get him out of your fucking head. It's just like a little baby. Yeah. We're done. You know what? You're broken up with me, and I'm going to accept that. Thank you. I didn't break up with you. Yeah, you oh, did. Yeah. You did tonight when you said goodbye. When you no, left. I did not. Yeah. No. No, no. You don't fucking try to turn this shit around on me. Accept me as I am, or we're through. I can cancel you're, you're trying off. I had to break up with me, though. No, no. Listen what you're there's doing. There's somebody tonight. else in the lineup, huh? Listen to what you're doing tonight. Blaming me for cheating that there's somebody else lined up. Just what you promised. Don't me fucking to tell me. Again. Don't tell you me don't bullshit. You never do this. You're very good at telling me bullshit. Thank you. I say something smart ass remark one time. No, you to your 2,000 times of saying it. One you always time. do. I'm going to have a fun Christmas in California this year because yeah, you broke up with good. me. You don't know what you lost. Thank you, Lauren. Isn't isn't McCutcheon like thirty nine at this point? Slash, he's like he's getting up there. You're drunk in this. I didn't, I didn't break up with you. No. I didn't break up with you, but you're trying awful hard to make it so that we're broken up. You're drunk. So you obviously have somebody in the you're fucking lineup. Drunk ass did this to us. You, you. Getting you drunk. obviously are. You obviously have somebody else. You obviously already have somebody in the fucking lineup because you're trying awful hard to fucking make sure we're you broken up. Promise you wouldn't accuse me of that ever. What do you mean in the lineup? What do you think I'm fucking a baseball team? At? You, know, you, you got somebody out there. You think so? Because I don't. I just don't want to put up with you being a drunk asshole anymore. You broke up with. Well, I don't. I don't want to put up with you being a fucking cokehead anymore. Okay. You don't give a fuck what I want you in. Okay. It sounds like you guys shouldn't be in a relationship. She doesn't want to put up with your bullshit. You don't want to put up with hers. Okay. You guys should be broken up. The mature thing to do would be to go. Okay. Yeah. This this isn't working. You have too much baggage that I can't deal with, and I have too much baggage that you can't deal with. Let's let's go our separate ways here where we can do so maturely. We don't have to have this, you know, epic blow up uh, end of relationship thing. We can end this as mature adults. And perhaps in the future, if we both address these issues, we can circle back around and, and maybe this can work out when those issues are resolved. Uh, but of course, he can't. He can't do that. You have to stay with someone forever, even if you both hate it, because you, you promised you promised we'd be together forever. This isn't fucking middle school, you sack of shit.
Hey, right, should these nuts? You haven't for a long fucking time. You haven't even tried. Not even a little bit. You yeah. say you're doing, then you're fucking not. So? You're lying to me about trying. Oh, I have some other pitches um, for the screen. I'll show them now. They're pretty good, too. I worked very not hard on them, so you should enjoy them. Do you want me to tell you about lying to me about getting sober? Or is that something I'm supposed to just ignore? You're the one who gave Roy the fucking talk. <laughs> then you turn around and you, you, you be a hypocrite and fucking do the shit and yourself. You called lied and told me that Lynn drove you home. Let's just take a minute and talk about the picture on screen right now in the center. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it down here in a second, but fucking hell, look at I know I'm fucking good looking. That came out of that mouth. You see the giant tooth? That's that is in the mouth that said I know I'm fucking good looking. That tooth, his his mouth is like an upside down uh, Stonehenge. It's just a bunch of oblong rectangular shapes that aren't quite right, but it's impressive in its own way, like in its imperfection, it's impressive. All right, let's get back to the Lynn did drive me home. Where's your van? Where's your right outside my fucking door. That's right, I watched everything. She drove you home. You didn't, you didn't fucking watch anything. Yes, you I didn't did. watch anything, calling her No, you didn't. Look at how you're being. Oh. Oh, a little laugh. Oh, now it's all fun and games. A little... We've run the full gambit. He's been crying, he's been screaming, now he's laughing. Oh, jeez. What a what a day for Lauren. Baby, because you got busted. You drove drunk after you told your parents <laughs> to drive drunk. You were drunk. Hey, the baby that Nana wanted dead. <laughs> it's good to see you. No, she didn't want that baby. No, she would not. She would not want to see that baby dead. Before you left your house, you had a six pack and you went to I am tired of you I'm trying to fucking turn shit around on me. Well, stop calling. I'm sick of Aljama. Calling me a cokehead if you don't want to deal with your own alcohol issues. Yeah. How is the van You constantly it's tell me how to accept responsibility and you don't accept anything. Uh, yeah, I do accept responsibility. Yourself. Yes, I do. I do coke and I don't lie about it. What about yeah. Lynn? Yeah, did she pick you up from you your house? You, is that how it happened? You, 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 huh? Is that how you it accept responsibility? Oh, of course, you got to like, try to interrupt me every time I talk. Hang up on me and it'll be the last time. You, you could have failed. Hang up on me and it'll be the last time. It means you don't want to work on anything and you just want to be a little baby. And this is what alcohol does to you. And it's a good enough reason to say goodbye to me right now. I'm not going to put up with it. I'm sick of Aljama. Don't tell me what you're not going to put up with when I'm putting up with a lot of fucking crap from you. That's your choice. Okay. You don't have to put up with it and neither do I. You chose to and I don't well, fucking need to base yeah, it. I, I choose to because I love you. Hey Branch, yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw Lauren at <laughs> the the Google picture or the the Google, you know, street view of Lauren. Yeah, I bet. Oh man, I, I wish that you know the the fake CSI show Zoom and Enhance was possible because the expression on his face when he saw a, a Google vehicle driving past his house with a giant weird like camera on top of it. Oh my god, so paranoid. I bet he went and he hid in the woods for a good half hour. Yeah. But at least I say I love you. I love you. I don't fucking... Well, when you ask me I if you. I love you, I say oh yes. God. Oh, here we go. I don't say no. Weird here we go, little baby. Do you love me? Please reassure me. Show me you love me and I'll show you I love you. You don't show me you love me. He always... People people say this all the time. You know, he, change, he moves the goalposts. But he just... He changes the rules to fit like, well, I do this, which means that all of my behavior is, isn't as bad as all of your bad behavior because I do insert thing here. That was never agreed upon. It's not like a general rule of relationships that, oh, the partner who always says I love you, they're less fallible given the same, uh, the same inappropriate actions that they take. What is he talking about? Me show me that you are nothing but a liar and you're not serious about it. When I show you that I love you, when I show you that I love you, oh. you come up with interesting theory, Octopushy. Uh, that Google car inspired Tent City. I think you might be right. That's. I think you might be right. That's really interesting. Well, up with this fucking shit. Call me a bitch and a fucking pedophile, and a fucking cunt and. Every other fucking word you can possibly think of. Then why are you still my boyfriend? Can I still, can I still hang on, waiting I'm for you to fucking say on. sweet stuff like you used to? Yeah. I'd say I'm fucking putting in my part. You want to call Dan and Emma and ask them if I'm putting ask in my part or not? Ask them what? Ask them if I'm putting in my part or fucking putting up with your name calling bullshit. 
Fast forward like three years from this call, and you don't need to get all French in on all conversations. I'm waiting for you to fucking just start loving me again, instead of fucking loving? calling me names and shit. I don't know what you mean. Well, 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 I want, want you to be honest with them. Please reinsure Do you tell them how me. I treat you so bad? Have you told them how you treat me? Let him, I do. No, you have So you, I you, you, not you have not, you have not been. In it. I should be right. You have not been honest with them. Train to San Antonio. What am I doing hanging around? Don't pretend like you're crying. You're trying to manipulate me. Have you been honest with Dan and Emma about how you treat me? <sighs> Lynn drove you home, huh? Right? Is well, that there what you go. Trying to change saying? the fucking subject. I don't give a fuck if I just lied to you or not. Because I'm telling you now, I lied to you. You can't even tell me that you lied to me before. I always tell you the truth. You don't admit to me when you lied. And you try to manipulate me. Well, okay, so immediately when he thinks that he has something over her. Then, then okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I lied about that earlier, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But yes, but you're lying about something now. Now I have the ammo to flip it back around on you. So fucking telling, dude. When are you going to stop manipulating me? You're a lying sack of shit. You knew that I saw with my yeah, own right. eyes. The only way I get the truth from you is if I verify it by a third party. You think I love that? You think I want to marry that? You think I want to marry somebody that's going to fucking try to manipulate me all the time? You can't get away from that because you do it all the time. Maybe you should tell me the truth then. And you don't think I know. <laughs> But what you don't know is that I get told about where you manipulate me. You mean like when you lie and try to tell me that somebody drove you home and that it's impossible that that happened because Elton would have had to follow her? That means he would have had to be drunk, stupid. How honest have you been with Dan and Emma about how you treat me? Why are you going off on the Dan and Emma? I know you Because you don't want to be honest? And I know. Uh, you told me to take responsibility for my coke use, and I just did. Now you don't want to talk about you driving drunk after you called the cops on your brother for doing it? You don't want to say you're a hypocrite for that? Listen. You think I want to be... No, don't fucking tell me to fucking listen. You know exactly what I'm saying is the truth. No, no. No matter if I tell you listen or not, you don't. You want to stop me from telling you the truth. You want to stop me from doing exactly what you told me to do. And get on you about things when you do things. Yeah, then that's fine. But you're not manipulating well, them not, on other not, things. I'm not manipulating you. I'm not manipulating you. I'm not making any manipulations on you. You are the one who's trying to manipulate. Hey, uh, Fantastic Planet, Winnie's stupid, Winnie's stupid ball jet, uh, Tiffany Rose, and the porn lo Lauren wrote. I like the porn you sent me. Feel like me by making me shut up when I'm telling <laughs> you the truth so you can deflect about how honest I've been with Dan and Emma. They hear me call you a moron all the fucking time. Hey, thanks, Anne. Thanks, Anne. Like moths to a flame. They're stalking the chat rooms and knocking on the doors. I'm Ann Curry. Yeah. How easy do you think it is for somebody to hang on to somebody that's calling them a moron all the time compared to what you used to treat me like? How did I used to treat you? I used to know that you wanted me. Oh, yeah, Branch. I speed it up to 1.25 times, uh, sometimes, depending on the call. I don't know. I it just, I, it, he really annoys me with how slowly he speaks at regular speed, so I speed it up. But, uh, you know, it's kind of odd with Winnie because she speaks so fast. But, uh, you know, that's just, that's how I do it. If you don't like it, I put the, uh, th this call, um, in the description, so... I didn't used to have to guess. I didn't used to have to wonder. You didn't treat me bad when you were I drunk knew. all the time, and I hung on and still said sweet things to you? I've come to the limit now, Lauren. You have been mean to me more than yeah, I yeah. should have to put up with, and you are telling me about what I'm doing wrong, and you don't even fucking want to talk about what you've done. Okay, you were sweet before when I was an asshole. That's right, and I got yeah. tired of it. I knew that but, there was something I could do to But now I stopped being an asshole. No, you're being an asshole but now? Now I stopped being an asshole. No. no, you didn't. When did you start? I thought being an when? I thought being an asshole. When? I thought being an asshole, when? and you started being when? an asshole. When? Hey, oh, oh, Roy. Hey, oh, really? Hmm, really? You haven't, you haven't seen me fucking yelling shit except for the other the other day when you were t 
teasing the fuck out of me. Let's call about guess who? Hey, Ramona's go around answer. That's thing one. Thing two, I don't have a thing two because you never let me get to thing two. Let's call Aunt Sharon. Guess who? Guess who you were teasing me about? Sharon and ask if she's proud of you for yeah, driving you, a drunk without guess, crashing into anything. Can you guess who you were teasing me about? I don't know. Probably somebody that I oh. have a lot of feelings for because he's my friend and he's a special friend to me. Ooh. And you want to talk? Why isn't a user named Winnie's special friend Dan? Come on, come on, come on, folks. What are we doing out here? Hey, Mandy, S75. Inside of you. I swear to God, it's like the Mandela. It's like the, the Nelson Mandela effect. It's the Morgan Freeman effect. I always forget that there's a 75 at the end of Mandy S. Is, is that always there? I feel like it's not. No, that's what you want. It's not. That's what you told me. <laughs> are you done? Go or are you gonna keep the three months of starting over? No, it's not. No, it's not. We deserve these three months. Yelling. Can't get away from that one, can you? I'm not yelling. You just I'm keep talking. I'm, I'm trying to remain calm because listen, you, you know, need to give me twenty seconds. I, I love you. Interrupting me. You, then you need to give me twenty seconds without Impossible. interrupting me. You're asking. You're asking far too much, Winnie. I uh, tried just to know that I love you. Don't give me twenty just. seconds. I you don't want to hear my concerns and my gripes about your behavior. So you think of whatever you can that I do wrong. So I stop talking to you about what you've done wrong. True. You need to avoid that because it's fucking childish. You do it all the time. That's your way of doing things. It doesn't fucking work with me. You keep fucking doing it and you're going to find yourself fucking single and it'll be your fault because that's your behavior that you don't want to do anything about. You can say whatever the fuck you want about my behavior, but what that you do is, is you don't take responsibility fault. for what you do, and then you bring up what other people do against Bye. you instead, because you want to talk about that instead. And you're going to do it right now. How much you want to bet? Go ahead. Oh, Lauren's going to cry. Doesn't matter. You don't fucking want to hear anything I say anyway. So. I, Come on, I gave cry. him giving you time. Go ahead. No, it don't fucking matter. <laughs> whatever I do is fucking wrong, so whatever. <laughs> Whatever I do is wrong, so whatever. Hey, Dan's come. Let me cry. And Jason Spears. You don't want to admit that you do that, or what? You know, I would love if they just added one, uh, one, not one word, but a, like a few words to that. Like when Ramona's like, Lauren, are you crying? I wish that they would add, uh, you know, are you crying again after they get, un like, understand his patterns, after the catfishes, uh, you know, are sufficiently indoctrinated to him. Lauren, are you crying again? And then after even longer, oh my god, Lauren, are you fucking crying again? Just keep adding to it, you know? I think that'd piss him off. Uh, hey, Smoke Daddy and Lauren's White Tarp. Tired of me being the one that does everything fucking wrong. Tired of me being And you don't. Let's get that again. Tired of me being the one that does everything fucking wrong. One more time. Tired of me being the one that does everything fucking wrong. Oh, Donde's here, Donde. You want me to play that one more time? You got it, Donde. Anything for Donde Lieta. Tired of me being the one that does everything fucking wrong. What was that, Jack? One more time? Okay, sure. Tired of me being the one that does everything fucking wrong. <laughs> All right, and you don't do the shit that you're doing. Why don't we talk about what one person is doing as the subject and then what the other person is doing instead of me telling you what problem I have and you avoiding talking about it and start naming things you'd rather talk about that I do wrong. No, that's ridiculous. Are you Because I try to tell you when you don't want to hear it. Are you sober enough to understand that concept? You try to tell me after I let you know about something that you've done that's offensive to me. That's when you choose to tell me what I've done wrong. You always deflect. And you just did it again. And again, I do something wrong again. And again, I do something Take wrong responsibility. Again. I'm taking responsibility for my coke habit, and I'm telling you, I can't fix it. And I tried, and I failed, and I do coke, and I'm not lying about it like you lie about getting rides home, because you know that that's a problem. You haven't yeah, even admitted what about it. Me a, what about, what about what calling about me a me bitch, bitch and a cunt and a fucking ugly? Well, those things are And true. a fucking worthless and a that's fucking true. pedophile? That's true. Once again, 
I just I, told you something I had a problem with. Instead of telling me why you did it and giving me an explanation and talking with me about it, you go down a list of what I've done wrong. Instead, you didn't hear anything I said within the past five minutes. You're waiting for your fucking turn to talk. Mm-hmm. And I never called no, you. No, I'm just not talking. This is... You can never call me a what? You're good. What? I never called you a cunt, number one. And thing two yeah, is. Yeah, you did. No, but that could be arranged. And thing two is. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure again. Oh, yeah. Let's talk I about never said, I never home. said. I never said fuck your mother. Let's talk about driving home drunk, Lauren. Remember when I said that whenever I bring something up you don't want to talk about, you just fucking name something that I do to bitch at me it. for? Be a grown man and talk with me about this. Pepper Be a man. Pepper. Prove that you're a man. I don't want to marry a woman. I'm not a lesbian. And if I were, Someone, she'd have more manliness than well you. Might as well talk about everything that I do wrong. Cause yeah, that's right. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do without yeah. you telling me. You don't, want to, about, you don't want to talk about things that you do wrong. Uh, Lauren, whenever I bring something up that you do wrong, instead of taking responsibility for it, you bring up things that I do wrong. Instead of talking. Could you imagine being in an actual relationship with him? Like. Oh my god. Lauren, you said that you were going to be home at this time, and you spent all of our money at the bar. What the fuck? Yeah, well, you didn't do the dishes last night. What? So? You spent all of our money. How are we going to pay for this place? How are we going to afford food? How are we going to survive for the rest of the month, Lauren? You burned all of our money. Yeah, well, you do things too. Like in any sort of interpersonal relationship, how does he have any success? Well, he doesn't. He has no friends. And I get, and even his mom and his aunt hate him. So, okay, question answered. Questions. Talking with me about what you've done wrong, you tell me things that I've done wrong. In order to pussy destroyer, that if you don't wanna, if you don't wanna be called a pedophile, don't try and fuck a child. Oh come on now. I mean, you know, don't don't ask things of Lauren that are impossible. I mean, come on. Avoid talking about what you've done wrong. You. Why can't he just do whatever he wants and there be no consequences? I mean, come on, pussy destroyer. She, Jesus. List things that I've done wrong. In order for you to avoid the discomfort of taking responsibility for what you've done wrong, you begin to list things that I've done wrong and try to hold me responsible in that same conversation for those things. You think that you're manipulating me? You're not. I know exactly what you're doing and I'm tired of it. Okay, now listen to what you just said. Oh my I God. I did, I said it five you tell me times, things, same thing. And I'm not gonna be able to say anything because you talk over me. Okay, no. go ahead and tell me and make sure you don't list anything that I do wrong. I want to talk about you driving home drunk. Why do you not want to talk about it? Address that. Driving home drunk. Address because I, because I know what's wrong. That's why I don't want to talk about it because I know what's wrong. He's going to get his ass eat out for it. It's wrong and I know you're going to bitch me out for it. Then That's stop, why I don't want to talk about it. Then stop naming things that I've done wrong instead as alternative talking points. If you want to be in a relationship. Well, how does this all get turned around on just me? <laughs> because you fucked up tonight, Lauren. And tonight, you've you, proven to me You mean it doesn't take two? No, it doesn't. It doesn't take two to drive drunk, Lauren. You did it on your fucking own. And then you lied to me about it. Oh. I had to catch you. I had to watch from the fucking satellite to get the truth. Just like I've had to do four times in the past. You think I don't fucking take note of this? I'm so disappointed in you. Yeah, but, uh, I thought I loved a man with a... I wasn't... Liar. liar. You liar. I wasn't drunk. I wasn't... Like no, I was not drunk when I drove over to Elton's. Who cares? But when I was at Elton's, you called Elton the rapist. Who you cares? Drove home you don't even know him. You drove home drunk. And you don't want to be around fucking Tony and Wendy. Home drunk. Which is that I can understand. But Elton and Lynn are very good people. That don't He is trying so hard to like backwards engineer a justification for him to drive home drunk. As if there's any. Oh my god. You know, what fascinates me a lot about, about this guy is that, like, he is very dumb, but he has no appreciation for how dumb he is. Like, he thinks he can, he can outsmart Winnie and talk his way out of this. And not only that, but outsmart anyone else, like, in, in terms of the justification of driving home drunk. Use me. Elm will come over and help me. And I can go over and help him. He's an actual friend ever since I was three or four years old. Nonsense. That's a beautiful story that you told me instead of talking about... But you say shit to fucking offend him. That's a beautiful story that you told me right now because you wanted to go ahead and jump to another chapter. But just like the movie, we're going to jump back to the You drove Jesus home drunk. Christ. I don't care that they're good people. If they were, they wouldn't have let you drive home drunk. 
It wasn't their choice, it was mine. Yeah, exactly. Right. And you lied to me and I'm upset with it. And instead of talking with me about it, you have chosen to just list things that I've done wrong and avoid oh. the conversation. That's not the kind of man I want to marry. You have helped me make my choice tonight. I will talk to you about that. Zero integrity. I will talk to you about it. But do, but do not keep talking over me when I try to talk, because when that happens, you don't give me a chance to talk. When that happens, you're listing things it, that it's I It's not me and you talking things. when that happens. Stop interrupting me. When that happens, you are listing there, there you go again. Yes. Stop interrupting me and stop getting angry that I won't let you interrupt me. You paused. I talked. You decided you didn't like what I said, and you interrupted mm. me. Stop it. Every time I fucking talk, you do that. Get off the side subjects. Stop it. You fucking liar. You lie all the time. I bust you. Then you start naming things I've done wrong. You're a fucking liar. I don't want you. We have zero integrity. You're not a real man. I don't want Dan. I don't want you. I don't have a boyfriend. I'm breaking up with you because you don't know how to be a human being in a relationship. You're manipulative. You're an asshole. You're an alcoholic. You're unrepentant drunk. Oh, well, isn't it interesting you break up with me, right? With Dan's right there. It's going to be something like We're that. We're broken up. That's why I hung up on you. Okay, good. Just wanted to let you know. You fucking, you fucking broke up with me. That's right. Else on the side no, I don't. I just told you that I didn't have anybody. I just... Fuck. What? What? I'm playing your fucking game. What do you want? Are you going to block me because we're done? You broke up with me by being an asshole? You, you, you fucking broke up with me. You just said that you're breaking up with me. Okay, but... I'm not playing your fucking game. I don't have a boyfriend. If you don't want me, if you don't fucking want me... I don't have another boyfriend. I don't have another boyfriend. If you want me, fucking tell me that you want me. I just needed you to know that. Hey, Eureka's mom. I'm not gonna play the fucking game, Winnie. I just needed you to know that I... I'm playing this fucking game with you. Yeah, play... There it is. Here's the anger. Yep, it did... None of it worked. And there were consequences for his actions. So now let's get angry. That always works. When I do everything wrong and you don't, after you call me a fucking cunt, a fucking pedophile, a fucking loser, a fucking That's asshole, true. every fucking name you can possibly fucking say, then you say fuck your mother to me. Yeah. Don't play that fucking game with me, Winnie. Winnie. I fucking love your ass. What? If you don't want to fucking love me, I'm not playing your fucking game. You can go get your fucking boyfriend that you got on hold. There it is. I'll go find somebody else. Good luck. But I'm not playing that fucking game. So make up your mind if you fucking want me right now. Because if you tell me no, me now. Then I'm that was a pretty good read. So make up your mind if you fucking want me right now. Me now. If you tell me no, then I'm hanging up and I'm not fucking answering again. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> It's a two-way fucking street. You do shit wrong, they irritate me. I do shit wrong, they irritate you. But we've got to fucking figure this shit out, so we don't- No, you don't. I like how in his mind they're already back in a relationship. We, we gotta figure this shit out. Irritate each other like this. It's not hard to figure out, but it's not a one-way street where I do everything street. wrong and you- It's not a one-way street. This. It's not hard to figure out, but it's not a one-way street where I do everything wrong and you don't do anything wrong. <laughs> Did you know the bullshit you've done wrong? And yes, I've done things wrong, but I'll admit it. This is, um, he's, he's just talking. He, he's, um, he's laid out that they're back together. So he's negated her, uh, her decision, right? We're broken up and he's decided we're back together. And that's the new reality. She hasn't cut in, she hasn't stopped him, she hasn't corrected him. So as long as he talks, she won't be able to say, no, Lauren, we don't have to figure this out. We are not together. So he's just going to keep talking. And he's trying to provide some context for, like, a positive path forward. But as long as he's talking, it's a filibuster, right? As long as he's talking, she can't be talking. But you don't want to admit it. All you do is answer on me when I start fucking talking. Uh, I always admit it. <laughs> if you don't want to call me back anymore, then no, fine. You don't. We're broken up. No, so you don't fucking admit it. You don't fucking admit it. You admitted you nothing. Admit it, you, don't. you were forced you into an admission when presented with evidence. You, don't. you were forced. Oh, don't give me a guy against stupid bullshit. Uh, it's the truth. <laughs> you, English. you know where you're fucking going wrong. I, I watched you. I watched you do one thing. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I forced you. I always admit it. Are you ever going to admit to anything you're doing wrong? 
I always do. Is it all just me? I always do coke. I always do bad things. I always call you names. And you drove drunk and you lied to me. And I had to present you with evidence in order to force you, you to admit it. How do you feel about saying fuck your mother? How do you feel about saying fuck your mother? I know me personally, I found it pretty fucking funny. When you told me that you love my mother. Remember when you drove home drunk? I you that. drove home drunk hours after calling in your brother for it. How do you feel about that? I feel really how do happy. You feel when, you say, when you say fuck your mother to me, how do you feel about that? I don't know. Outdoor Loser uh, says, I wonder how many times Lorne has said he wasn't going to play the game over the last six years. I'm guessing 827 times total. I'm guessing a little higher. I'm going to say uh, 8,700 times. I think I admitted to feeling happy about it already. Well, I guess you should just move in with Tony and Wendy. Okay. I you just like them. What? Don't ever call me again. I'm breaking up with you exactly for the reasons. Again. Again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're breaking up with me again because you can't admit your own fucking fault. Yeah, I admitted because it. You told my mother. I admitted it. You said you. Because you said fuck your mother to me. I know, I admitted to that. What, 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 I understand what you don't how, get. How does, make, how does that make you feel? Do you know how my mother is? What my fucking mother's been through? And, Who and cares? You, so Who fucking cares? The person I never thought would fucking say fuck your mother to me. You said fuck your mother to me. I, I hate his, his mother. It's like this shield around him. It's not about his mother. His mom's not in this conversation. She didn't hear Winnie say fuck your mother. It's not about her. It's it's you can't insult me because I'm my mother's child and my mother is above being insulted. No, she's not. What's the thing that Winnie says? Crotch fruit? She strewn her crotch fruit over this country? How does that really make did. you fucking feel? I can't trust you. You lie and lie and lie until I force you to tell the truth by giving you some type of third party evidence. I don't want to be yeah, with a man like do, that. What do you do? What do you do all What do you time? do? Are you asking me a question about what I do when I'm trying to tell you something that you do wrong with no integrity? Mm -hmm. This is why you're never going right. to You're never going to call you're me back. Right. You're not going to call me back you after this. Tell me the truth. What? I always tell you the truth. I always do. You lie to me all the time. You lied about driving drunk home like three times and I fucking busted you. <laughs> you're a liar. You're a liar. How'd I find out about you, uh, you fucking dancing on the table with your fucking shirt off? Oh, you mean like months and months and months ago? Just today, you drove home drunk like an hour and a half ago. Yes, it does. does it matter? Yes. I never fucking yeah. Yeah. Is you told Winnie, Winnie, come on now. You can't be, you can't be dancing on a table with your shirt off. <laughs> Winnie is just like a certified wild child. You gotta like, Winnie is the 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 child who's like running around the Denny's. You know, at full speed, but she's a grown adult. Like, someone's got to rein this chick in. Winnie, come on. Told me that I was so good in the beginning, and now you're giving me evidence to the contrary. Yeah, Tiffany, uh, what she's been through. Uh, she got cheated on and divorced like half of everyone else, right? I really don't know if that grants her lifetime immunity from criticism. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think if that's what Lauren's referring to, but I, I think if you were to like give Mama Gwen truth serum and ask her like, what's the most like stressful, demoralizing thing you've ever been through? It's probably her son stealing $30,000, likely being like a bit ostracized throughout town, being associated with her son, and then having her son be caught on national television trying to rape a child. I bet that that's probably the worst thing that she's ever been through. Lauren doesn't like to talk about that part though. Do you realize at the beginning it was back when you were trying to fuck with me? With Xavier? That was pretty funny though. Do you realize that? You're trying to fucking get to me because of a fucking guy that's a pathetic piece of shit loser. No. And you're the one calling me a fucking loser. You lied to me all the time, and I always have to prove you wrong with the truth, and then you admit it to me. Don't ever call me back. You are stupid. I hate you, and you're ugly, and you are a pedophile. We are broken up. Don't call me back. Um, Don't. I'm sorry. I could, uh, I'm sorry. I could live up to your dream guy, Xavier. Dream oh, okay. Guy. Thank you so much. That's really mature. That's going to be the last thing you ever tell me. <laughs> I want you to remember those words, drunk ass. Whatever. Whatever. That's, not, that's your choice. It's your choice. Xavier really means that much to you. Oh, okay. Xavier means a lot to me. Huh? Don't ever call me again. You want me to stop calling you? We're broken up. Fine. You don't call me back either when you sober up and realize what you've lost. You're the 
the one that's fucking breaking up on me. I didn't break up with you. You're breaking up with me. Yeah, because you're a liar and you want to admit to This is like the opposite of every every sitcom, you know. I'm breaking up with you. But in Lauren World, you can't even get this fucking right. It's you're breaking up with me, not me breaking up with you. Hey, Sood23. Wait, all you want to do is talk about some bullshit voicemail after you drove home drunk. Talk. You endangered I people's lives. I said words and you endangered you're people's really lives. I said words and you endangered people's lives, Lauren. I committed two crimes, but you said fuck your mother and you and you said you meant it. Let's talk about the comparison if you want to fucking talk about it. I said fuck your mother. You almost killed yourself and other people. Which one's worse? I'm breaking up with you. You're a fucking liar. I can't trust anything you say ever. You yeah. always lie before you fucking tell the truth because you want to avoid getting bitched at. Well, you know what? You don't have to worry about getting bitched at by me anymore. You've proven yourself to be a liar, disloyal, and an asshole. Unrepentant drunk. Mm -hmm. Don't ever call disloyal? me back. Disloyal? Really? You want to call me disloyal? Yeah, you yes. called the cops on your brother. I'm How loyal is that? Do you like hearing about that? I'm going to get a guy nurse so that way I can have a fucking guy play with my pussy and have an excuse. So if some, if some guy would touch my pussy when I have a boyfriend? It sounds like you have a problem with that. I wonder why you're bringing oh, it up like, to me right now that you're angry that I'm broken up with you. Yeah. I'm fucking dead with my shirt off. Talk about disloyal me, girl. Talk about disloyal me, girl. I love his strategy for trying to win back his girlfriends, you know. Like, we were awful to each other, so let's get back together. There's wrong fucking place to talk about that one. You just called me a girl. What does that say about you? The woman you want to fuck, you oh. refer to her as a girl with a diaper and baby powder? <laughs> oh, there you go. I should have fucking called you. You fucking come up with that. Come up with it? Or repeat what you said? Eh, yeah, whatever. A diaper and baby powder. Hello? Hi, Dan. Hello. Hello. Lauren and I are broken up now, Dan. Are you? What? What's going on? Get him on the fucking phone and tell me. We're broken up because Lauren lied to me about driving home drunk, and I had to tell him about how I saw him on the Google satellite. Driving home alone, drunk. This one drove drunk? Yes. And he lied to me about it again. Oh. And now he's, and now he's mad at me. Are you sure about that, Winnie? That doesn't sound like Lauren to me. That doesn't sound like the Lauren I know. Call Dan. First thing we gotta do, call Dan. Yeah, he's a real man. Bye forever. All right. Uh, okay. That's the end of that. <laughs> That's the end of that call. But uh, I see, uh, hey, who's Brittany and Brian Kane? I see that both of you are saying, Eel, you got to go back to that great part. So for the two of you, um, I will go back to everybody's favorite part. Whatever I do is fucking wrong. So whatever. There it is. Whatever I do is fucking wrong. So whatever. And one more time. Whatever I do is fucking wrong. So whatever. And once more for Octopus. Whatever I do is fucking wrong. So whatever. And one more for me. Whatever I do is fucking wrong. So whatever. I was talking over that one. Whatever I do is fucking wrong. So whatever. There we go. Ah, ooh, ooh, that was really great. I enjoyed that. Whatever I do is wrong, so whatever. He's running out of breath at the end like a fucking toddler. Okay, on to the next call. Lauren Armstrong, the pedophile. I fucking drove drunk. Where? Yeah, yeah. To the store. Just touch the trigger, the beam comes on, and you put the red dot where you want the bullet to go. You can't miss. Anything else? Phased plasma rifle in a 40 watt range. The only type of woman that you can get, a fucking bar stand. Uzi 9mm. You know your weapons, buddy. Any one of these is ideal for home defense. So, uh, which will Octo pushy for you, anything. Would be. All. I may close early today. You can't do that. All. What do you want? I'm sorry, baby. I don't know why you're yelling at me. I didn't have sex or nothing. Oh, but you sure have to put every fucking sexual bit of power you can into some guy you don't even fucking know that's Who's Brittany? I, I, of course I like you. That's not fucking damage. Who's Brittany? If you were here right now, I would marry you. That's how much I care about you, and that's how much I love you. He's not damaged. He just is disabled. Everything he's got to fucking do something sexual with somebody else just to piss me off. I was fucking working, so good fucking job. Come on, come on, don't be that way. I love you. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you proved it. I showed some other guy your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't show him the whole pussy or even the pussy hole. Just the flat. Through your panties. Oh, here you go, go ahead. Here's your fucking chance. Bye. Bye. You done showing him your pussy? I never showed it to him. <laughs> I, 
Oh, you just saw us in part of them. What a great fucking job you do. I didn't. You yeah. made me fucking. You made me fucking insist. For me. I didn't show. Allison, you know it's not. You know that's how Lauren looks. Come on now. Come on. Is that picture edited? Come on. Are you crazy? No, that's just Lauren. What are you saying? He's ugly? That, that is pure nightmare fuel. That is is rudeness. Just because someone's ugly and horrifying inside and out doesn't mean that it's nightmare fuel. Oh, with my pussy. Where are you getting that from? You said you said, you said you said part of that. He just saw it through my panties because I was holding the doll up. Yeah, saw it through your panties because you holding the doll up. You couldn't fucking keep your fucking down down, could you? I had to lift you down now. What? I lift you fucking down up some more for other people. Okay. I'm sorry! You think it's so fucking funny? No, I'm not! You're just... No. Hey, Pine Baron Patriot and uh, Dieva Swan. I think I said that right. And JC Dean. Hey, very fucking funny to me. There's no way that I'll ever marry somebody who yells at me as much as you do. JC Dean, have you seen uh, the show Community? Because there's a lot of good Dean related jokes in there. Maybe you should think about the stupid shit that you do. It's not stupid. You want me to be fucking trusting you? When you look your fucking down up and show guys you're pissing? I didn't do that at all! You're fucking joking! I didn't do that at all! I dropped the sidebar of my- Sorry, shot me! Look at your fucking gun up! You shot me in your panties! Tie your titch! Are you done? Look at the panties and look at your fucking gun up! Are you done? Give me a throw for some other guy and see your pussy! I you done? Give you a fucking throw! And then a harder time than keeping me! Yeah, but Lauren, that's pretty cool though, you know what I mean? Like, you know... She's like, she's out there, other dudes are seeing her. I mean, come on, Lauren. You're down with that. Don't pretend. Everybody knows what you like, buddy. Check it out. Are you done? JC Dean, look up um, Community Dean on YouTube or something like that. Maybe, uh, what's it called? Like one of those highlight reels sort of thing. Best of the Dean from Community. He's really funny. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking down. I'm fucking pissed. You want to be just loyal to me, obviously. And but you want me to trust you? Six seasons in a movie! Collectively, we've spent about five minutes on the phone if you don't count the spaces in between where you've hung up on me like a little baby. And yeah, well, some say you guys are fucking pussy. And I'll hold you. a good fucking time if you would have stopped your stupid bullshit. You can't miss you. Stupid bullshit. And the you heard it to fucking go and bring it over the board. And the whole time. I've been trying to explain to you calmly exactly what happened, but you keep yelling. Lauren Cuck Strong. I'd believe it. Yeah, they changed it when they immigrated to America. That's his, uh... <laughs> right. So as soon as you're done, let me know. You already told me the shit that you did, so... Are you ready? There's no way you can fucking change this shit. Are you ready? What? Wow. I swung my legs around to hang off my bed, and I put the bar down so I could show him my punk rock Barbie that I took a picture of and sent it to you. And I took it because Emma put the little pull string from an old doll she said in the letter, <laughs> and I pulled it, and when I pulled it, her feet pulled my gown up, and I said, uh-oh, you saw my panties, and then I pulled the Barbie dress up so he could see the Barbie panties and the pubes that were drawn on. Oh, my God. That's what you're jealous about? Are you fucking kidding okay, you had me. You had me. That is the stupidest fucking story I've ever heard. You had to make it known that the fucking doll lifted your gown up, and oops, you saw my panties. Yeah. Yeah, couldn't throw the fucking gown on your legs, should ya? No, couldn't take every step possible to make sure the gown ready to fucking fly off. No, I don't really think about that when I move around in my bed because I'm in the- Uh, Jack, I, I, I don't know the Webster's Dictionary. Cut. Take two. 
Jack, I don't know the Webster's Dictionary definition of a lol cow, but I would consider Lorne a lol cow. I mean, we as a community are collectively milking him for laughs, which is my definition of a lol cow, so I would say he is. But, you know, I maybe I'm wrong. In the hospital and everything? Hospital. So, yeah, no, I couldn't yeah, well, take effort to that. That seems to happen a lot. It sure seems to happen a lot, but you don't think about stuff. Yeah, it does. It's really suspicious. Like here, isn't it? Want to see my ass? Yeah. Want to see my ass? I'm oh, right the Allison, that's so cute. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna. Want to see my ass? Yeah, baby, I said. The fucking bullshit needs to stop it with the sexual bullshit with other people. I want to see your ass. No, that's what you said to this shit. I don't want to see his ass. He has to wear a diaper from now on. And a colostomy oh, pad. No, you want, you want him to see your ass. You're right. You laid on your side and pulled your, you your down up and said, here, you want to see my ass? Derek, do you want to see my you ass? remember that? No. We are going to make that guy mad again. Whatever. He's being a mad asshole. Being a mad asshole is in a fiance. Don't stop with sexual bullshit. You're not my fiance anymore. I'm, I'm fiancing. With other guys. I'm just my boyfriend right now. How do you feel the need to make me jealous? I'm not trying to make you jealous. I'm just being who I am, yo. Word to your mother. Okay. Good old gorilla face. No, I'm tired of you fucking saying that, brother. Bye. <laughs> Bye. What do you want? I'm sorry. You're not sorry because you keep fucking doing it. I'm just laying here. I asked you to stop and you keep fucking doing it. You sound like a fucking church of God, people. Telling my mother fucking names. <laughs> Isn't that fucking smart? I just do it to make you mad. Um, hey, yeah, well, why in the fuck would you want to do that? Because he's so cute. It makes literally no fucking sense. Well, why do you want to? You're calling a fucking elderly lady names. That sounds like fucking dumbasses from the Church of Cod does. You're right, but... Fucking I'm not, retards. I'm not calling her names to make her feel sad. I'm calling her names to make fun of you, baby. Did you get so mad? It's funny. You need, you need to fucking stop. Why? It is not funny when you call my mother fucking gorilla face. How about I tell your mother fucking monkey bath or fucking penguin face or <laughs> fucking elephant butt? <laughs> You don't care because you don't care about your mother. <laughs> I care about my mother. Call her buffalo butt like the Evans used to do to book a man on good. Penguin face is pretty good. I, I gotta give it to Lauren. Penguin face, pretty funny. Times. Do you remember that show with JJ? <laughs> my mom's a elephant butt. My dad's a buffalo butt. My husband's a jelly belly, big fat old bear butt. And his mom is a gorilla face. <laughs> <laughs> and and Dan's just like a statue of a Greek god with the Irish hind. You need to stop doing things to piss me off. It's not funny. Your shorts are so short this morning, baby. I'm looking at your cock head, and even your cock looks disappointed in your clothing choice. I'm unfianceing you. I... I'm probably going to get cut off again because I'm in the same area I was before. First time, you got cut off. Aww. I'll call you right back. Uh, I'll call you right back if we. Uh, I'll call you right back if we get cut off. Okay. Yeah, uh, Octopushy. Uh, the catfish constantly tell him that they fuck with him because he gets mad, but he takes the bait every time. He has no self control, and it's why he has to be on probation forever. Um. If, if a child, if a 17-year-old was around him and wanted to have sex with him, or even not wanted to have sex with him, but he got the idea that they did, he would try and have sex with them. If, it, if a beer was placed right in front of his face, unless the consequences like they currently are were enormous and there was literally no way that he could get away with it, if he thought there was a sliver of a chance he could get away with doing something that he wanted to do, uh, he would do it. And then he would, you know, fall back on his old, uh, his old gems, you know. I, I never wanted to do that. I don't know why I did that. Yeah. All right. I hey. got to go out here. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but... What happens? I really need you to stop pissing me out today. You feel the pee coming out? 
He's oh, yeah, you can see it go through that tube. Ah! It's all in the bag down here! I can't she's, help that. She's playing with the colostomy bag. Why don't you leave him alone? What is wrong with you? So, that's so fucking gross. Jesus Christ! I leave the fucking kid alone! I, I'm on Team Lauren here, actually. When I got into surgery, they put a tube inside of my pee hole, too. But I don't have it anymore. I'm gonna have mine forever. That's okay. You can still find a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or like, if you're gay or bisexual. Like, Forrest Gump and Lieutenant Dan had group sex with those two hookers. You could probably do something like that if you, you know, because I'm gonna get married soon, so I can't show you any more sex. Like, we talk about it. Well, not too soon. You just unfianced your fiance, Winnie. That wedding's definitely getting pushed back now. My husband will get mad, but I could probably find you a girlfriend. I know a girl named Emma. She's kind of a slut, and she's Mexican. She'll probably suck you off. Oh, cool. A slutty Mexican will yeah, yeah. suck you off? What does she oh, look like? Pretty cool. Here's a picture. I have a picture. Oh, I have a video of her fucking good guy. W Winnie is a good wingman or wingwoman. Damn. Look. Is he yelling at Winnie? The fuck is wrong with you? What? I don't know the fucking thing. What did she do? Hi. He looked like. Here's a picture. I have a picture. Oh, I have a video of her fucking good guy. Oh, okay. Alright. Hey! Hey! Fuck you, hey! The fuck is wrong with you? I'm gonna have to fucking tell. I mean, honestly, that might be the only, like, appro well, uh, until the end. That might be the only appropriate reaction I've ever heard Lauren have to, like, one of Winnie's wacky antics. Like, that's totally inappropriate for her to be showing a video of Emma having sex that was likely recorded without their knowledge. And he, he blew up, rightfully so. But then he's gonna get off the phone instead of, like, ensuring that she deletes it. Oh my god, look at that! Holy shit! Hey, let me see it! Sorry. You're sorry? You're just trying to fucking pay for the data, Emma! Taylor, you wouldn't tell anybody that fucking video! Oh, I forgot about that! It's a good thing I signed it as well. Oh, gee, I forgot! You're so fucking anxious to show them having sex! You forget what you signed! A legal fucking document! So you can get your ass in trouble! Delete that fucking video off your phone! Tell that kid not to fucking say anything about it if you already showed it to him! Hey, you know that video I forwarded to your phone? You can't say anything about it. I have to delete it from mine now. You did. Delete it from his phone, too! Am I gonna be able to leave him the fucking home? Am I gonna be able to fuck that chick? Yeah, she's gonna come visit me tonight. Are you are you still gonna transfer out? I think you're gonna be able to video. What the fuck? Son of a bitch, why are you? Why do you fucking keep saying stupid shit? I don't know, like she's seeing some guy, but it might not be that serious. Alright. <laughs> Damn, look at you look at the fucking right. Yeah, they're big, huh? Has. Alright, I can't talk to you right now. Alright, that's alright. I got something to do now. <laughs> alright. Alright, baby. What's up? You better stop doing stupid shit today. I'm telling you, I'm at my fucking wits end right now. Tomorrow, pick it up. But for the rest of the day, Wendy, I, I can't do it. Uh, what did I do? All kinds of fucking stupid shit. You can't uh, leave that fucking kid alone. Are you fucking serious? Leave him the fuck alone because you want him so such and shit. So much shit that you fucking trying to leave a document on that you never show anybody again. Why are you not fucking thinking? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Dan Jones says uh, it's not appropriate. He only does that because they had her sign legal documents in the story. He doesn't want to affect her visiting his trailer by getting in trouble. That's why. Okay. Yeah. That that's more in line with the Lauren I know. Is such a shit that important to you? I want to see if I can make a quadriplegia hard because then it means I'm truly sexy. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, that's the test. <laughs> Leave him the fuck alone. Leave him the fuck alone. Say one more time. And the same it means that much you than break up with me. I don't want to do anything like that. I just wanted to see if I could make his pecker heart. It's science. It's not. Do anything, never mind that fucking bullshit. You want me? Never mind other fucking guys. I'm tired of that fucking stupid shit. Lauren Armstrong. How do you not understand that? Lauren Armstrong. You're gonna get yourself in trouble. You're gonna get yourself in fucking trouble because you so that fucking video to another fucking person. Now, if anyone doesn't do him a sexual favor, well, she sent me a video of you and your boyfriend, and, and I was hoping you'd do that with me. Huh. What a whole lot of fucking thought process you're doing there. She might like it. Yeah, are you going to like the lawsuit? No. Hey, what can you do to my friend? Because your pecker doesn't work. I lick her pussy till she comes. <laughs> yeah, do that. Do it today when she comes. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, well, how do you know your friend even watch that? That she's more likely she's not going to. He's a kid. He's 19. You need to leave the fucking kid alone. He's yeah, Dan Jones, how he remembers these stupid details in the story, but doesn't remember the most basic shit, is, like, if it directly... it's His memory is proportionally... Um, uh, is proportionally good to whether or not it's going to get him vagina. So, like, if it's very important towards getting him pussy, he can remember like a son of a bitch. But as the farther it goes from that end goal, the less he remembers. So, like, somebody having two children, and they might be male, uh, that's not really important, like Debbie. But Debbie, blah, 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 whatever she did that Emma made up on the spot and then Tiffany didn't know about, he remembers that shit because he needs to know that to maybe have sex with Debbie. It's gonna be 20 in October 18th. Is your daughter's fucking age, your son's age. No, well, yeah, he's my son's age, that's true. My son's 19. Leave him alone. Oh, well, yeah. when he has a son, this is the first... I, I, I didn't do that on purpose, but this is the first time hearing of Winnie having a son. And I'm sure that comes up a ton more in the future. You just made him not sexy to me anymore. Thanks, Lorne. Yep, yeah, Lorne. Don't be sexy to you, go ahead and have it. You can break up with me right now. I don't want to break up with you. You think I'm sexy? No, I can't think anybody's sexy, but Lauren Armstrong. He's the only sexy man in the world. I don't think he's sexy. I know, but you can't. Yeah, exactly, uh, Dan Jones. Jamie's favorite movie, he couldn't remember. He couldn't remember that her parents are dead, but he did remember their ring size because once once they get married and he puts a ring on that finger, then she has to have sex with him. Not now, because I'm in love with somebody else, so. You can fuck my friend Emma. She'll fuck you. She, she pities people like you. So Why would you say that? It's just a pity fuck, baby. It's okay. Fuck it, Daniel. Dan Jones, I think she's supposed to be 31. Um, cause she had Rhoda when she was like 13, so her son would have to be underage because Rhoda was just 18. I can't talk to you anymore. Are you happy now? Then again, it, it none of this matters whatsoever. Uh, we've been happy if we would have left him alone to begin with. I have a burp inside of me. You want to hear it? And never mind, it came out silent. Hi. What? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm trying to get over here pissed off. You fucking stretch me right out. You're yelling a lot. I love you, but how to calm down. Yeah, well, I wonder why I'm yelling a lot. I'm trying to get your ear off. I'm fucking sued. In WWF, they shave their chests and armpits, and they're all shaved except for one guy, and that one guy's name is Razor Ramon. He's named after something he shaved with, and he's all hairy. What the fuck is up with that? Right? Oh, no, no, I don't watch it. Oh, it was from, like, when I used to watch it in the 80s. Now it's different, because it had, like, big old chichos, and it's a soap opera. Chichos? Like, I'm all for girl power and girls whooping ass, but they just, like, want girls to get thrown around so their boobies will jiggle. Like, I jiggle everything. Dan yeah, jiggled Emma's titties and he came all over them and he drizzled it like a car looking for like Pino. I guess you like sexual shit. Some horny for you. I want to put my cheese in your chicken nugget and have you dip all uh, sauce. What? Oh, Bobby, I'll lose my fucking voice again. 
Well, yeah, so stop yelling, baby. Maybe that will teach you to solve your problem. No, Dan Jones. Winnie wouldn't be able to okay. get rid of him if she told him she was 55. The only way that she could get rid of him is if someone else who is better came along. Lauren will hang on to her. She could be like, she was literally on her deathbed. And if Debbie hadn't come along, he'd still be holding out hope. You're going to get better, sweetheart. Just relax. Manner. I'm praying to God you get better so I can finally lose my virginity. You know, you just know. You know, when Lauren prays, those calls go straight to voicemail. God ain't listening to him. He's not. Emma will give him a blowjob and he'll shut up. He won't say anything. She'll remove his catheter and suck his pee hole. Who's giving him a blowjob? Will she really do that? Yeah, she will. She'll totally suck it. I promise. Oh, you don't fucking tell me. Why, why the fuck are you doing this shit? I'm trying to make him a happy person because I was mean to him earlier. You said I have to be nice. Well, uh, the be honest with you. Tell me now. She's probably not going to give you a blowjob. job. She's probably not going to do anything. She's probably if not. She has a break and she's in love with. But it doesn't hurt to ask. How should I ask her? Well, hey, hey. Fucking weird. I think you're hot, and can I see your chi-chis, and she'll sh uh, DJ McNerdat, Rhoda wasn't conceived at 18. She was conceived at 13. She was 18. She was just barely legal. Show him. She shows her chi-chis? Yeah, she'll show them to you. She'll at least do that, right, Lauren? Hey, Honest. You can ask your mother. Can I see yours? No, I have a boyfriend. All right, can you I said you would show me earlier. I know, but I'm not going to now. All right. All right. What do you want? I want to apologize for whatever it is you're making yourself mad about. Oh, you mean like, don't tell the guy that you're going to show me the pit? I said that because I thought he was going to get transferred out. And I wanted him to feel happy before he got transferred out, but now he's not, so I'm not going to. You need to not, you need to leave the fucking sexual shit away from other people. Okay, let's just think about this rationally for one second. You're talking on the phone to your long-distance girlfriend who's very promiscuous, right, and has done things that are completely inappropriate for someone who's in a relationship, and then you overhear that... Her, the person that she's in the hospital with, or like her roommate, is like, you told me that you'd show me your tits earlier. And then she's like, oh yeah, no, I, I'm not gonna do that. Obviously she's doing this all the time. You're not able to control her from this far away, nor should you want to. This is not a person who is ready to be in a faithful, monogamous relationship, you fucking idiot. Just get out of it. Every sign is, it's, it's not even a sign, it's just, Blatantly, here it is, and he can't fucking see it. Okay. Oh, why you fucking do this shit? You're gonna lose me because of it. No. None of it is fucking funny to me at all. I'll only lose you if I cheat on you. You said, and I'm not, and I haven't. You're just trying to make me Showing other people, just showing other people your fucking bottom parts. That's cheating on me. God, no, it's not. You showed Emma your cock on live. Unless they're there. Yeah. Unless they're there to take care of you. They do not need to be seeing your fucking shit. What makes you... They don't need to be seeing your ass. They don't need to see your pussy. They don't need to see your tits. This is all self-explanatory shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're right. I am a bad woman. I'm sorry. Keep it up. You're going to lose me. I don't want to <laughs> lose you. And I would think you would stop doing this shit. If you cheat on me a few more times... I am seriously going to start considering you losing me. You don't think you've done enough of it? No. i got to sow my oats. Oh, break up with me and go sow them. I don't want to break up with you. Break up with me. I guess you better read all your oats to me. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, cool today. Okay. I'm Hey, medium syllables. This is my favorite part of the call. This is the part that I fast forwarded to, that like I, I dropped in on when I was when I was scouting some good calls. Got it over. Me too. I'm glad that my work day is over. How'd that go? Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, why are you sorry? I just told you. I don't know very much. 
well, not many girls do know much about construction staff. I hate like construction staff. Very much. <laughs> well, not many girls do know much about construction staff. I hate like construction. <laughs> I didn't expect you to really know it was. Okay, <laughs> I don't know a lot of stuff. I had to switch positions. I'm just thinking. You didn't cut your schoolwork. Kinda. <laughs> You're kinda. so cute. What is it? You said kinda. Ooh, like a little squeaky mouth. Interrupt. <laughs> like a little squeaky uh, mouse. Just about everything. <laughs> you don't, don't lose me here. I don't know. Oh really... God, I love that desperation. Don't, don't, don't lose me here. This is all he has. He's a fucking thirteen-year-old on the phone with him. Everything. I said, dude, don't, don't lose me here. I don't want to lose you. Lauren hasn't said anything since these calls began. Oh, I wonder what's going through his mind. Does he even know? Because he can't, he can't recognize his own voice unless he's singing, according to him. Uh, no, Slash, you missed none of that. There, there was none of that whatsoever. No, I won't lose you, but I really do have to get ready. I gotta take a shower. I know, I'm almost done my cigarette. I'm almost done my cigarette. I do have to get ready. I gotta take a shower. I know, I'm almost done my cigarette. My cigarette. I really do have to get ready. I gotta take a shower. I know, I'm almost done my cigarette. Oh my god, you can't pick up fucking social cues. Dude, she does not want to talk to you. Are you smoking a cigarette right now, baby? No. Who are you listening to? Who is that guy? I wish I was. It shouldn't take you that long to get ready. Okay. I, I don't want to let go of your voice yet. You keep doing a squeaky. I really don't want to hear that. You guys. You want me to see you? Do you want to see me do it? I really don't want to hear that. Oh, okay. Okay. It's going to be a white truck. White truck. I stopped it. Hello. I stopped it. <laughs> it's so funny. You're getting so mad, baby. All I'm trying to do is celebrate your history. Your history. Not a tone that means what you're trying to do. No, I'm trying to get you off the subject so you stop thinking of noodle dick. Hey, come on, man. You don't have to be mean. I'm sorry. I'd be almost half a tank right now, but no twenty dollars on it. And you're still playing it all over again. I would agree, uh, Dan Jones, but I I think because he watched uh, the sting footage, uh, he he told the new Keishi that he watched the the sting footage to see her again. I think that he would kind of get off on listening to this. I think a part of him enjoys it, and if he doesn't have to perform for anybody. He can kind of just relive the fantasy. So I, I think it wouldn't be the torture that it is uh, listening with someone else. Stop talking. What are you supposed to bring in the bag? So I just... Extra pair of pants. What do you mean? What are you supposed to bring in your bag? Yes, it is Allison. That's, that's his, his pillow wife. Hey, Westmost. Hi. Uh, um, Westmost. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hi. And? Hello. And... I don't want to hear that fucking thing. Tell me. Remind me. You extra pair of panties. I don't want to hear that. Panties. What do you want to hear, baby? I thought you wanted me to wear those. <laughs> um, I'm going to get out of phone. Why? It's probably a good idea. Everything I try to do to cheer you up. I'm just going to right now. I'll sing you a song. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, you. Don't you know, make it anything that has to do with my past. <laughs> or that kid next to you. Or am I, don't make it anything sexual. And as a matter of fact, don't make it about anything at all. <laughs> can you do that? Yeah, of course. Can you, can you, can you do something that's not going to piss me off? Uh, oh, there, finally, I made a big break. Oh, man. I've been waiting to share that with you forever, baby. I knew I could do it. Are you proud? I'm proud. That was solid work, Wayne. Huh? Are you proud? 
Yeah, I'm proud. Okay, good. All right. Your break like a high mark. Your break like a high mark. If you want to get at me, bitch, you're gonna be sorry. Cause I'll break your soul, I'll punch your eye, I'll break you like the hymen between your thighs. It starts with an innocent tease, then isn't their ass destroyed. I'll call you fat with the face of Bill Nye, I'll break you like the hymen between your thighs. If you try to come at me, I will beat your ass, then lick your ass. Then I will cut a bitch down with just one small phrase. You ain't the first I drove to suicide. So tonight, when I cry, I'll break you like the hymen in your thighs. You got a lazy eye and sell your light. I'll break you like the hymen in your thighs. It's by Jizz and the Mammograms. Oh, Jizz and the Mammograms. She did in the moment again? Yeah, and they gave me a punk rock CD. This one is the Girl Power CD. And it talks about how a girl can be strong and doesn't have to have be sexy and can still be strong and valuable is not a sex thing. Right. So I chose... So you're valuable, but you won't, you won't get away from the sex thing. So I chose that song to inspire me to change my behavior. So thank you very much for the lecture, Dad. Thank you. No, the lecture that you need to, need to give you. I know. Did you like the song? Especially if you love me. Did you like it? I sang it for you. Hey, me getting in the bed. Who are you talking to? You! God, of course. Yes, I like it. Do you think I, I have a nice like voice that. for singing? I think you, think you have a beautiful voice. Okay. Maybe we can do a song together. I love your voice. We don't I'm have prejudice. to do country. I'm prejudiced. I love your voice. But we can do something. It doesn't suck, baby. We can do something together. Yeah, we can do lots of stuff together. Go to the park and point out the animals we would have sex with and joke with each other and share a corn dog by the park and go to the zoo and watch monkeys throw poop. And then I can, like, we can go to places with lots of elevators, and I'll just go in and fart, and we lead everybody in with the farts and giggle. Yeah, but when do you pick up a fart jar, Winnie? Come on now. Right, baby? I'm sorry, I'm sorry I get so stressed out. Sorry <laughs> I get so mad. I, just, I really need you to stop doing that stuff. All right. But you kept saying I'm going to lose you. I never even did any sex on this kid. Winnie, you stress Everything had to be sexual with him, though. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Dude, him. You. Didn't it? Can't drop you because I'm your dad's pussy. Emma did it. That. I just showed him that. But Emma did it. She drew Peters. <laughs> and you got on one, one up going up. So you saw your panties. That's I true. Said, you showed him your tits. I did say that, but I didn't mean to. It was a false, empty promise. Like how you said you're going to pay Betty back. Well, I didn't think I would ever be held responsible for that yeah. promise. I thought he'd leave. Don't ever say that. Listen to me. Don't, don't. don't ever say that. That's true. You know, it's 2023. He hasn't paid her back a dime. I think I would ever be held responsible for that promise. I thought he'd leave. Don't ever say that. Listen to me. Don't, don't try to punch me just when you do something wrong. Yeah, Winnie. I can't punch you. You're too far. My being Betty back. My being Betty back is not a false promise. So don't stop punching me with that bullshit. Yeah, he's gonna do that, Winnie. And if he doesn't, by 2023, may God strike him down by year's end. All right, I will. Warren is a man of his word. When he says he's gonna pay somebody back, he means it unless he doesn't. I start seeing evidencia. Evidenciando, or whatever it is in Spanish. Evidanzos. That's it. Is Tony going to be the godfather of your child when you have one with somebody? Well, what do you mean with somebody? You don't want to have a child with me? No, I had a fucking hysterectomy. Ooh. Oh, well, what makes you think I need a child? I don't need, I don't need a kid. You don't. That, he, he, he changed his tune pretty quick right there. Oh, you don't want to have a kid with me? 
So clearly he wanted one. And now, well, well, I don't need a kid. No. Well, you no. need one to get off when you think of masturbating, you're a dick. Boom, that was pretty good. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. She sounded pretty serious. <laughs> it's a funny joke. You're on the fucking heat today, aren't you? Yeah. Why, because you want me to break up with you? Find somebody else that you are? Yeah. I mean, no. Yeah. Stop saying stupid shit to me today. I'm two. hating it. I'm really fucking hating it. Two plus two is five. That's stupid. I am really fucking hating it. Hey, Lauren. What? What? In, um, September, when you were a kid, did your mom put latex all over her face and then make molds for a gorilla costume and use all of the pubes from her sisters and brothers for the hair? Good question. You're really trying to make me fucking hang up on you again, aren't you? No, I... I thought I'd lighten the mood with a little joke. Well, yeah, of course, Honest. Uh, he always thinks when they want to break up with him, it's for someone else. Why else would anyone ever break up with this Casanova of a gentleman? Let me, just in case we forgot, I know that there's a couple of uh, pictures up of him on the screen, but look at this gentleman. I mean, you would have to be crazy to break up with this guy, unless you had Brad Pitt lined up, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, where, where are you gonna find a tooth that jets out from all the other teeth like that? Nowhere, that's where Honest, all right? Are you getting paid for saying this stupid shit to me? God. Shut up. Damn, Slash, damn, no. seven two? Are you getting paid to talk to me? Um, that bunny, the, the buzzing is Winnie's uh, dildo. It's, uh, it's diesel operated. Hi, Xavier. And yell at me. Try to make me feel bad and kill myself. Not even close. Wow, well, okay then. Come on, it's a fucking green light, you stupid fuck. Green light, you stupid fuck. Hey, be nice. I want to get out phone. Goodbye. All right. Heavens, heavens to Betsy. What a couple of calls there. I'm really tired. Like fucking hell. Yeah. This night, uh, this night knocked me out a little bit. Listen to these calls. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Gotta take my dog out and go to bed. All right. Thanks for joining me for those couple of calls. I am going to call it there. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to stream again, but when it, one day I will, I assure you. So I will see you guys when I do. Actually, I'll probably see you before then. I'll, you know, I'll see you, see you in stream stuff. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Okay, bye. to the diaphragm I never drew the diagram how to deal with this shit so I steal and lie again whoa you're my dream you're my nightmare life is a bitch she don't fight fair leave you right there I was hoping that you'd notice my despair run away from the pain I don't care Cause first day in sight of violence turn around and then day in fight the side
competitive Sex, rock and roll, sedatives Degenerates need medicine Spend money for the hell of it I don't give a fuck what they selling Like I'm celibate, no And I know I'm a piece of shit Should've learned by now Peace needed quick or a piece of it In school they ain't teaching it Each of us trying to find release But it seems a bit slow First day Stick, poke with my kin, folk, give me drink, smoke, whatever you suck.